Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video um, is about this new little circuit. I had a customer that was asking for a basic hall circuit. So um, I just built this little guy. And um, very basic, just have your on off switch, you have your MOSFET, um, input wires, and the output wires. This has a high speed Scott D diode on it. And um, then it has a little hall circuit that comes up to right here. So it's really cool for just, you know, if you have a prototype pulse motor and you don't want to deal with timing yet, you could just take this and you could just move it around until you get it right. And then just like on this one, I just taped it on here um, to do experiments with. And um, yeah, it's just a really simple little straightforward circuit. Um, this is my Bedini motor that I sell on my website. Um, I just took off the circuit and this is a tri-filer wound coil. So I actually just put all the wires in parallel for this circuit and then hall sensor here with the this has um, eight magnets all monopole so um, yeah and then it has the um, all the welding rod cores and stuff like that so um, yeah we'll fire it up but um, a few basics here we're just using 12 volt battery uh, with the amp meter one amp amp meter um, goes through the circuit and as it's pulsating uh, for the, those of you that are new to this channel, uh, every time it turns off with the hall sensor, uh, this high speed diode collects that and it comes out here. You know, it's right around, you know, three to 500 volts depending on, on your coil. And then my little cap dump here um, collects it. And then when it gets to, this is a 16 volt, so it's about 16 and a half volts or so, discharges into this charging battery. And um, so it'll be charging this as we're running on this one. So neat. And then I have the scope hooked up so you guys can check it out. So um, I ran it on uh, repulsion and attraction. Um, they're both very similar. The repulsion is nice because it, it just kind of kicks itself going. You don't have to try to turn the wheel or anything like that. So uh, without speed control, uh, you do have to be careful because um, you can't dim it down to start the motor so it's gonna have full power right off the right off the get-go so yeah so let's kick this over and you can see it kind of hit the one to get started as we get up to speed here here's the scope so we're on five uh, microseconds and then each square is 10 volts so if we bring this out a little bit more, you kind of see the waveform. So here's the cap charging on the bottom. These are your square wave on the power. And then at full speed with no load, we're running just a hair over 150 milliamps. And then here's our cap to dump going. So we're, we're about 900 milliamps, 800 milliamps every dump. You can see the battery kind of pulsing up with it. So what we're going to do now is going to change up these loads a little bit and um, so you can see a little bit different. So we'll just slow this thing down. So we're going to put this prop on here and then we're just going to kick it over again. And I really like to check the speed but I need to buy a new tachometer. So maybe on the next video. So right now, this is, let's see what this is. So we're about 11 inch blade right there. And it went up to 250 milliamps. And then our cap dump is working a little faster now. Uh, because sometimes when you load these motors, the more amperage draw makes it pull stronger and you'll get back more energy. Uh, even though you're using more energy, it'll, it'll start pulsing faster really cool so we do this again we're gonna put even a bigger load on this thing one thing you should know on this coil um, this is 770 turns of um, 26 gauge and there's three of them on there but they're all in parallel so yeah so let's shut this down and um, this off and we're gonna put much bigger load on here my typical fan for these experiments. So 
So now when we start it up, it's going to use a lot more power, but just kind of hits the one and then comes back down. So you can see the waveforms are a lot wider now because it's going slower. But um, yeah, using just a hair under 400 milliamps, but you can see this is pulsing much faster now. And yeah, that's really smooth. So it'll run on this motor uh, traction or repulsion, but like I said, repulsion is, is kind of neat cause, um, because it has the ability to start. When you're in attraction mode, you'll have to uh, physically turn it to where it doesn't just stop and lock out right there. But yeah, you just have to play with the timing and move it around until you get a nice comfy spot there. You want to adjust it to where you're the lowest um, amps on your meter. So. Yeah, so this is just designed for 12 volts, um, 3 amps. It's just a real simple little test circuit that runs really good. Uh, we have a um, 200 watt MOSFET on there, and this is a 20 amp uh, Scotchy diode. So, yeah, collects it really nice. Super fast diodes help a lot. So, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, all these circuits are available on my store, kenergy.store.